Daniel here for Tabletop for One and my first impressions after five plays of Siberian. And I thank you for joining me tonight. Now, Siberian is the latest offering from Shady Torby and Inpatience Games. And Siberian is in the same universe as the Onirim games. And there's Onirim and Arion and a whole bunch of others, Sylveon and a couple others. So there's a lot of games. This is a solo only game and it's an engine building contract fulfillment type game. And so I'll jump right in the review here and let's talk about the production quality. The production quality is exactly what you would expect from any of the Onirim series. And so you have some decently, you know, made cards here, as well as some great art. The iconography is good. It also comes with a board that shows your different actions and it'll upgrade as you go. And it has these little plastic tokens that uh, signify your level of the different actions. So the production quality is decent. The game came in at, I think, like $25, $26, which is a pretty decent price for what you get. And so let's talk about the gameplay. In the gameplay of Siberian, you're trying to repair the factory before everything goes awry and you don't want to hit all the fail safes. If you have to hit a fail safe and you don't have any, then you're going to lose. But if you complete all the repairs, then you'll win the game. And so on your turn, you're, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be triggering robots that are placed out in front of you and you're going to do their actions. Some of those robots bring out more robots. Some of them stock robots that you can use for future turns. Some of them let you look at the cards in the deck and decide whether to put them on the bottom or on the top and stuff like that. And then you're going to take the matching cards that are laid out in front of you to complete the different machines and repair them. Each of the machine's requirements require a specific color or a specific level or, you know, pairs or combinations or sequences like that. And so you just choose the cards that are in front of you that match those and discard them and then you'll complete that card. Now you have to complete one card every round or you'll trigger that fail safe which could lead to the end of the game. And then you can upgrade your abilities by spending any of the completed machine cards that are worth uh, experience points. And so you can upgrade your abilities that let you do your abilities more efficiently or do more with your abilities as you go. So you can upgrade your engine and you know do things faster and more efficiently. And that's pretty much it for the gameplay. Now for the ease of solo play, this is very easy game to learn and easy to operate. In fact, it might be just a tad bit too easy. See, I played this game the first four times at the basic level and won every single goal game. I didn't have a problem with it. Maybe it's my experience with engine builders that really gave me an advantage to the basic game. And so yeah, it's really on the easy side. And so with that, let's go into replayability. Now the game actually comes with multiple modules or mini expansions. And so you're able to tailor your experience, you know, into a more complex or more challenging environment. And so it's your choice of what you want to do there. And I did, I tried out the Microbots expansion. It is a fantastic expansion and I recommend starting with it from the first game on. Like, don't even try the basic game. Just go straight in and use the microbots. See, what the microbots do is every time you draw a machine card, you know, a machine card that you need to repair, and you put it in the line, you add a microbot to it randomly. And that microbot is going to add an additional requirement to repair that machine. And so if a machine requires two of the orange cards, it might also require a level two card. And so you have to, you know, do even better with your engine, and it's even more challenging. But that extra level of depth and uh, you know decision making and strategy there is so much better than the base game. So I highly recommend play with the Microbots expansion right off the bat. And that's going to increase your replayability because then the cards that you know that are coming because you know the, the base game has set cards. So the cards you know are coming are going to be the same because you don't know what the Microbot is going to be. And so it adds a nice little level of randomness to it and again it adds that challenge. And so, yeah, it definitely aids in the replayability there. And with that, let's talk about my recommendation. Do I recommend this game? Yes, I, I think it's a good game. I, I don't think this is, you know, a home run, but for $25, I've gotten five plays out of it. I, again, with the Microbots expansion, I much more enjoyed my experience with it. I think, you know, it was just too easy early on. And so now it's a little bit more challenging and I can try some of the other modules. So, and I will revisit this game and play more 
So I definitely recommend it if you like Omniverse games, if you want to support Shady Torby, which, you know, I, I really think you should, because Shady brings a lot of games to the solo gaming community, and that's fantastic. And so there you have it. That was my first impressions after five plays of Siberian by Shady Torby and Inpatience Games. You have to let me know in the comments below what you think of this game. Also, let me know which one of the Omniverse games is your favorite game. I'd like to know that because if I don't have it, maybe I'll want to pick it up later and try it out. Please also like and subscribe to this channel if you like the content you see here. And I thank my Patreons for supporting me on this channel. And I thank you for joining me on Tabletop for One. Have a great night.